Okay, I, I get a lot of letters from a lot of different carvers or people that want to be carvers. And I received one uh, about a week ago that really touched me. It was uh, just like, you know, I received the ones from the, uh, the Boy Scouts. I received one from some, some carvers that were, uh, actually they had created a group. They were some carvers, but they were disabled. And they got together to help one another uh, in their carving abilities and things like that. And they get, not just for carving, but they do for other things. These are disabled. People, we, we've got to understand something, okay? There's a lot of people out there. Uh, the good Lord has given me the ability to uh, have two arms, two legs, uh, good eyes. Well, you know, my eyes are... <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are getting worse, but but I'm talking about good good vision, and there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of World War II veterans. I've received letters from them that, that want to learn to carve or carving, and and but they have disabilities, and we have to understand that there are a lot of these people out there, and we say, well, so you know, I mean. Well, I understand that, but, but they want to learn to carve also. And so I received this, this letter from them concerning the fact that they, they are doing a lot of different things, but they, they, they're learning to carve also. And they absolutely love the little dog that I did first, and, and they, many of them have done that. As a group, they did that. And they asked me if I had any more little dog projects because they're, they're kind of limited in their, their ability. And um, I know we've carved uh, a simple dog, and then we carved a more extreme dog with a coon. But they asked if I could do a couple more small dog projects, because people seem to like dogs a lot. And I said, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, we're going to get to other things, but when I get letters like that, it just it touches me, it does. Because uh, the good Lord has supplied me with the ability to not be disabled, and except maybe if our brains, you know, I'm, my brain's probably disabled, but, <laughs> but I mean, there's just a lot of things that, that we should be very uh, proud of, and, and so I'm going to do a couple more of the simple dogs. Uh, remember the first one that I, I, I did where he was looking up? Well, this is a little pattern of a dog looking down, in other words, and his eyes are somewhere around in here, if you can kind of see that. And, and uh, I think these are fun projects. And I, I, I kind of wrote back and asked them, do you, do you have access to somebody who can cut it out for you? And they did. They said, yeah, we have someone that can cut the patterns out for us if they do that so that they can carve. So I, I'm going, we're going to do one of these simple dog projects just like this, like one of our first ones as we had. And um, this is just out of one inch wood, is what it is. And so uh, we're going to do this today. We're going to do this. We're going to have kind of a little repeat of a, of a dog project, but, but this is going to be really unique because we're doing this for some special people. And I have to say that, uh, you know, I'm blessed to be able to to uh, talk to people like that in my lifetime. And uh, we, we have to understand, and, and I mean, we, we had a discussion on, on Woodcarving Illustrated about uh, simple projects and, and that maybe woodcarving had been kind of cheapened with these simple projects and stuff. But I want to tell you something, folks. These simple projects are what lead people a lot of times that, that have never tried carving or don't carve because maybe they have disabilities or maybe they have other things in their life or maybe they can't do certain things. And we just, we that have been blessed to have so much, I get so many letters from people uh, overseas that, that don't have the access to the wood and, and the tools that we have. I mean, I can pick up the phone and call, uh, you know, Hinkle Wood and get all the basswood I wanted or something like that. But you take people from other countries up. Uh, uh, that don't have that access. It's not as, uh, there was a young man that I, I spent some time with uh, 
talking to from uh, England that uh, uh, he did. They don't call it basswood over there. They call a lot of it. They call uh, lime wood and things like that. And we were looking at it and to see exactly. So behind the scenes, there's there's a lot a lot of people that don't have access to the things we do in America, and we're so blessed. So I also want to help those that don't have access to certain disabilities, I mean, or certain abilities to do certain things. And they just said they just love these little dogs. And uh, so we're going to do a couple more little dogs like we did for the scouts and stuff like that. But this is just a little lazy dog is what it is. And here's his ears and his head and uh, his body. And what, what we're going to do first of all, or to start off at, is his ears actually come up like this, okay? So we're going to draw a line here. His ears, these are actually his ears right in here, okay? Just like that. That's his ears. So we're going to go over here and do the very same thing. We're going to draw a line up here where his ears go, okay? I'm going to make this simple. This is out of just one inch wood, or you can cut out of a three quarter, just maybe a little thinner. But we've just drawn the little ears in there. Now we're going to take our carving knife, and I'll tell you what, I appreciate so many of these letters from people, I really do. But we're going to take our carving knife, and we're going to start removing the wood. By the way, when you cut this piece out, it, it, young, or young people, <laughs> I was thinking about the scalp, you want the grain to be running this way because when you carve your legs and stuff, you want the grain to be running up like this, up. This is the way you want the grain to be running, okay? So, we're going to take this and we're going... There you go. Just start bringing those ears out, okay? Cut away here. I tell you, uh, I get a lot of letters from people that just, hey, would you stay with those simple projects? <laughs> I tell you what, I know that a lot of advanced cars, as myself, and you see how we, 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 we chopped that away from there? Now let's go over on this side and do the same thing. A lot of advanced carvers, they, they just don't understand that there are a lot of people that really want to learn to carve, but they don't have the ability or they don't have the way to, you know, maybe they have disabilities or whatever. And we want to, we want to answer the questions to those people who would like to carve as well. We're in, that's what we're in here for. Okay. All right, and I'm going to move that wood away from there. Now, you see that? See on this side? We're establishing our ears right here. Take a little wood off right there. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Now my video is almost up, so I've been doing too much talking, but I wanted to share that with you. We'll start with part two.